Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Today as I record this, our country, the United States, has suffered yet another loss in this epidemic of gun violence with another school shooting. And as I've been trying to process what this means to me, how can I make a difference? The Lord took me to Luke chapter 10. So I'm just going to read that to you now. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into this harvest. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money bag, no knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest upon them. And if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you and heal the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. There is so much to unpack in this sermon after sermon after sermon, but, but briefly he starts with pray earnestly. And there have been so much, there's been so much commentary on, you know, thoughts and prayers are not enough. But prayers are where we begin. And as Christians, it's prayers. Not thoughts, not vibes, not seeking the wisdom of the universe or the wisdom of self. It is prayers to Jesus where victory lies. And as he sends them into the town, he says, offer peace. This peace that surpasses understanding, this peace that can only come from Jesus. And he says, do not go from house to house. Stay. Enter into deep relationships relationship. Eat, drink, live with people who need to know God. The shirt that I'm wearing today says, pick up your mat and go. So that's my cry to all of us today. We're going to go through a half a practice, a practice where we hold poses, where we find the strength in that. We feel the firm foundation of that. We're going to breathe deeply and invite the Spirit of God to lead our hearts, to set appointments for us, divine appointments and divine conversations, so that we can reach those who do not know the peace and the hope of Jesus. Find a comfortable seated position, maybe elevating your hips up on a prop, a block, or a blanket. Move the flesh away from the sitting bones and Anchor into that firm foundation that is the hope and the knowledge of the faithfulness and the goodness of our God. Begin to find breath. And this word breath, the same word for wind and spirit in Greek and Hebrew. Feeling the spirit of God move within you and around you. giving you power and authority to fight evil. Inhale down the body and exhale up the body and create dimension, finding length in the spine, expanding through the rib cage, opening up across the chest. I invite you to turn your palms up and to bring your first and third fingers together with your thumb. This ancient Christian mudra, placement of the hands, that first finger representing Jesus, the second representing the Father, the third representing the Holy Spirit, all three together calling on the Trinity. The fullness of God to work within our world to bring peace. let the lost and the hopeless know that they are loved and worthy. To 
let you know that you are loved and worthy. Gently bring the chin down. Let the weight of the head draw forward and then bring that right ear to the right shoulder and chin forward and left ear to left shoulder. Notice what's going on in the neck, in the shoulders, and the back. Maybe relax the muscles of the face and the jaw. And as you're ready, bring that right ear to the right shoulder and settle there. Begin to draw number eight with your nose. Notice all of the sensations, what's going on, where do you feel tightest, and settle into the stretch that feels best. Maybe readjust the posture a little bit, realigning the spine, elbows hanging heavy underneath the shoulders. Gently bring chin forward. left ear to the left shoulder and again just drawing that figure eight that number eight with your nose make it a little bigger and again just exploring what is going on in your neck find the stretch on this side notice how it's similar or different to the stretch on the other side Gently bring your chin forward, raise the arms up and connecting breath and movement as the arms rise, the gaze comes up and exhale, hands to heart. Make a triangle with your thumb and your first fingers. Again, just calling on the fullness of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to work within our world and press out into our world as we come into cat. Surrendering as we go. Raise the arms up. And exhale, bringing hands down behind you. And inhale, opening up into cow. And repeating this sequence, deep breath in, arms rise, and exhale, hands to heart. Find that triangle, find cat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms float down. Land a little bit behind you and pressing lightly through the fingertips. Inhale into that cat. Cow, sorry. Inhale into cow, opening up across the chest. And exhale to center. So one more time, arms rise. Hands to prayer. Find cat. Arms rise. And float down. Find cow. And release hands to prayer. Now in your head, take a few breaths here and offer up whatever the prayers of your heart are today. As you're ready, 
come off your block, bring any props that you have to the front of your mat. Meet me in table. And from table, spreading the fingers wide, drawing the eyes of the elbows in towards each other, rotating the shoulders externally away from the body and towards the hips. Exhale into cat. And inhale to cow. Go back and forth here, cat to cow. Connect and lead with breath. And notice sensations in the back, the neck, the shoulders, the abdominals, fingers, hands, wrists. What do you notice? One more time, cat to cow. And as you're ready, find cat and stay there. And as you knit the rib cage together, maybe draw the ribs a little closer to the spine and let the back of the head come down a little closer to the mat. Can you find that dimension of breath as the rib cage expands with that inhale? On the next inhale, glide the chest and heart through the arms, come into cow. And find that curve of the lower back and the release and support it as that belly button draws into the spine, the shoulder blades gliding down the side of the body towards the hips. And can you keep the head in alignment with the rest of the spine, so not looking down or up, but just extending the neck? Meet me back at table, and as we find table, committing to table fellowship, you know, this theme throughout the Bible, but particularly in Jesus' ministry of eating and drinking and sharing life with all people, not just people who are like us. On the next inhale, sweep that left arm all the way up, over and around, and bring it in front of the right hand. Bring that right elbow back to the knee, and draw the hips back towards the heels. So finding a stretch up and down the side on the left here, maybe looking underneath that left arm, and maybe adjusting the hips, finding that the stretch shifts and changes as you draw the hips more towards the center of the mat. Take one more breath here. Rise back up into table. Sweep that right arm all the way back and around and forward and bring it in front of that left hand, left elbow to knee, extending through that right arm, looking underneath it, finding the stretch in the right side of the body. Again, maybe drawing the hips slightly more towards center. Find the stretch that's right for you. On the next inhale, press into your hands and rise up. Come back into child's pose and then forward into a kneeling plank. From kneeling plank, come down to the mat. And taking the forearms a little bit wide, again, spreading the fingers wide, finding that pocket of air under the palm, rise into sphinx pose. And settle into sphinx and, you know, notice maybe the head is sinking into that basket between the shoulders and, you know, can you draw those shoulders down and back and let the head float up. And can you support the pose a little bit more as you press through the tops of your feet? 
and draw the knees towards the hips as you engage the quadriceps. Draw the belly in. Soften the rib cage. One more breath here. Exhaling, come down to the mat, hands to rib cage, come all the way up and back to child. And pressing through your hands, curl the toes underneath and bring the knees into the rib cage. Let the head drop and shake it out. No and yes. And keeping the feet hip width apart, begin to pedal through the feet and move the hips back and forth. And take a deep breath in and let the heels rise and exhale. Let the heels come down towards the mat. Find breath. And on that next inhale, let that right leg rise high to the sky. As the gaze comes forward, the foot floats and softly lands in between the hands. And find your blocks. And let that back knee come down and up. So gently just tapping down and up, beginning to find that stretch in the front of the hip and the psoas on the left. And then let that knee come down to the mat, top of the foot to the mat, extend through the spine. Bring the hands to your leg, press the muscles of the leg towards the knee as the shoulders draw back, head rises. Begin to find this stretch as the hip points kind of lift up and out and find breath. From here, take the hands to the small of the back and open up across the chest and let the gaze come to the ceiling. Deep breath in, arms rise, palms up. Exhale, hands to either side of the foot. Go ahead and move those blocks out of the way. Raise that back leg. Bring the front leg to the back and draw back into downward facing dog. Again, just kind of pedal through the feet. And let the heels rise and drop and just notice where you land. Maybe you can engage the muscles of the legs a little bit more actively. Left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward, foot comes all the way through. Maybe you're using props. That back knee drops down and up. Can you lengthen through the spine? Begin to find a little more length, a little more distance between each vertebra. And as you're ready, just let that back knee softly drop, top of the foot to the mat. Hands come to thigh. Again, gently just nudge the muscles of the leg slightly towards the knee. Draw the shoulders back. Now, where is the weight in that front foot? Maybe press a little bit more at the base of the big toe. Find that focal point in front of you. One more breath here. And then staying in this pose to the back, pressing into that sacrum bone, that flat bone above the tailbone, and begin to open up across the chest. And find breath here. And taking a deep breath in, arms rise and exhaling, hands to either side of the foot. Go ahead and raise that back leg, move the props out of the way. Front foot comes to the back, meet knee in plank. And from plank, draw back to downward facing dog. This time, press into that right foot. Let that left knee bend and hook the big toe and second toe around the ankle of that right foot. 
Just gently drawing the heel towards the mat. Let the heel rise and bring the other foot to the mat and gently bring both heels down. And this time it's the other leg. So now the left foot on the mat, the right foot anchoring those toes around the left ankle, stretching through the calf muscles, stretching through the Achilles. Again, find your range of motion, no pain here. Tension is okay. Deep breath in, heels rise, and both feet to the mat, heels drop back down. And check in and just notice, you know, how does downward facing dog feel now? And then engaging through the abdominals, walk your hands back to your feet, bending the knees, rib cage to thighs, find your first forward fold, holding onto your elbows, gently moving side to side. So can the legs and hips stay in place while the upper body moves? And then just settle its center. Again, rib cage still touching thighs. Back of the head reaching towards the mat. Hands to the mat. And hands to shins come up halfway and Exhaling, come down and pushing through the feet, come all the way up. Palms together and exhale, hands to heart. Stay here, checking into mountain pose. And let the thumbs press into the sternum and gently lift the body up and out and find your back bend. And deep breath in, arms rise. Hands to hips, press into that left foot, bring that right leg forward, find your lunge. And from lunge, same thing, we're just gently gonna nudge those muscles of the leg, you know, a little bit towards the um, muscles of the thigh, towards the knee. Go ahead and bend that back leg, draw the hip forward, and then straighten that back leg thigh to sky. Let the arms rise up, find cactus arms. And from here, find that back bend. So in this crescent lunge, finding that length all the way up and down the left side of the body, from the shoulders to the toes. And inhale, rise high. Exhaling, bring the hands down to the foot, straighten and bend that front leg. And then hold it straight-ish, whatever that hamstring stretch is for you today. Again, you know, your blocks are here as a guide if that is better for you. So let the body fold over and, and out of the head, no and yes. Again, creating this triangle, thinking about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and the work of all of them, the way that God speaks through his creation, the friend that each of us has in Jesus, the guidance and the peace of the Holy Spirit. And bend the front knee, float the back foot to the, um, the front foot to the back, meet me in plank. From plank, draw down to your knees, come to child. And rise into downward facing dog. Just notice right side and left side. Perhaps there is a difference, perhaps not so much. And left leg rises high. Mm, changed my mind. Left foot comes back to the mat. 
Anchor through those abdominals. We're going to walk our hands back in this practice. So find your forward fold from here. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, and exhale down and pressing through your feet. Come all the way up, mountain pose at the back edge of your mat. Hands to prayer. And check in, again, just noticing the connection of the right foot compared to the left, or the way that one leg feels compared to the other. The settling of the hips, of the shoulders. Deep breath in, arms rise. And exhale, hands to hips. Press into that right foot, left leg comes forward and lunge. Find your balance. Hands to thigh. Again, just really finding it here, this knee directly over the ankle. Maybe changing your stance if you need to. Drop into that front hip. Let the muscles of the leg draw towards the knee. Bend that back leg just a little bit as the shoulders draw over the hips. And then bring that back thigh to the sky. And find breath. And let the arms rise and find your lunge. And come into cactus. And find your Stay here in this long and pose. Breath. And the next inhale, arms rise, and the next exhale, hands come down to either side of that front foot. Again, those blocks are an option for you. You're just going to straighten and bend that front leg. And come into your hamstring stretch and settle there. Maybe this right hip drops a little bit towards the mat so that you can find an evenness of the hips, both hips square to the mat. Again, the back of the head reaching towards the mat. Shake it out, no. Shake it out, yes. As you're ready, draw the knee over the ankle. Go ahead and float the front foot to the back. Meet me in plank. And from plank this time, you know, come down to the mat however you choose to do that. Kneeling plank or grasshopper or chaturanga. And find your back bend. And from your back bend, come into downward facing dog, maybe traveling through child. And stay in downward dog. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, always at work in our world, even in the midst of unspeakable evil. Gently draw the hands back towards your feet. Find your forward fold. Bring your head down. Shake the head out. No and yes. And hands to shins. Rise up halfway and exhale down. And pushing through the feet. Come all the way up. Hands to heart. Staying here. Check in for another breath. And this time, keeping the hands at heart, step into that right foot, bring that left foot forward. Okay, so stepping into the right foot, left foot forward. Find your lunge, arms rise, and pivot into warrior two. And again, just readjust your stance, so maybe you need to go a little wider. That front heel is going to be drawing towards the instep of that back foot. Foot. Let's find this really strong warrior today. So let the hands drop and just gently bring the muscles of this back leg towards the back wall and towards the knee. A little extra weight in the outside edge of that foot. 
And this front leg, the knee right over the ankle. Hands in, drop the elbows, push the hands out, and then palms up as the hands and the arms float just a couple of inches below the shoulders. Turn and look towards that front hand and hold this warrior. This pose of strength and this pose of victory, this pose of reaching out. Top of the head, reaching up. Back arm drops, front arm rises into peaceful warrior. And just stretch through the side of the body. And exhale and come forward as you reach, reach, reach overhead and reach left fingertips to left heel. And bring the hand up and maybe you just stay here. Maybe you use a block, maybe not. If you do, the block is in front of the foot. And straighten out that front leg, finding triangle. And find your breath. And as you're ready, release and lunge that leg forward and come all the way back and go ahead and just cartwheel forward and pivot and bring the front foot to the back, meet me in plank. And again, just however you choose to do it, kneeling plank or grasshopper or chaturanga into the back bend of your choice. Maybe drawing back through child, maybe coming directly into downward dog. How does downward facing dog feel? Engage the abdominals and just float those hands back towards your feet. Find your forward fold, head hanging heavy. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. And exhaling, press down and inhaling, meet me in mountain. And exhaling, hands to heart. Finding balance, step into that left foot, right leg coming forward. Find your balance here. Bring the arms out to the side and pivot into your warrior. And again, you know, maybe you change the stance a little bit just to really find as open of a pose as you can. And hands to hips. You know, are those hips even with the wide edge of the mat? Gently draw the muscles of that back leg around and away from the knee and towards, your, towards the back. Feel that weight in the outside edge of that foot, that front knee right over the ankle. Arms out, reaching forward, reaching back. Spine long, head reaching towards the heavens. Two more breaths here. Gently drop the back arm, front arm comes up and over. Peaceful warrior. Another breath here. And then come all the way over, side angle bend. Reaching from fingers to the outside edge of that foot. Maybe you can relax the shoulder a little more so that it's not pushing towards the ear. And the hand rises. And again, the block is the option, or that other hand comes to the mat. Straightening out that front leg, finding triangle. And find breath. And one more breath here. As you're ready, lunge that leg forward and bring the other arm back. Arm comes overhead and cartwheel forward. And final time, float the front foot to the back and meet me in plank and hold your plank for a breath. 
Gently draw the knees down and child to table twice. Exhaling into child. Inhaling as you rise into that table pose. So as you're ready, come back, heels to hips. Find breath. Massage out your forehead. Go ahead and turn the palms up. How is God calling you to be an agent of peace in our world? Palms down, gently come up to a sitting position. Bring your feet forward. Let your feet come wide and gently just drop the hips and move the knees side to side towards the center of the mat. And as you're ready, come over to the right and find this tightest place and Come up beside it, and as we do this today, I just invite you to consider the fact that you know, the best way to get rid of this tension is not to come on top of it and to pound it out. It's to come beside it and to encourage it and to help it to find the release that it needs gently. How can you do that in the lives of others? Gently come over to the other side. And then back and forth each direction. Go ahead and bring a block towards your hip. Come down onto your back. into bridge. So pressing through your foot, particularly through the heel of the foot and through the shoulder blades, rise into bridge. And as the hip points rise, you're in the glutes fairly relaxed but firm. Really being on the flexibility of the spine here. And then come into bridge and stay here. Again, you know, just consider how can we, you and I individually and maybe even together, be that bridge between people who don't know Jesus and who feel unworthy and unloved and who can't find peace. Be that bridge towards Jesus, the Prince of Peace. One more breath here. Gently draw down one vertebra at a time. Notice the way the back has settled onto the mat. And then lift up just enough that you can bring this block underneath you. So the block is above the tailbone, below the spine. It is underneath that flat sacrum bone. 
begin to let the body simply melt into the block and melt over the block. And let go of any fear or resistance that you have to talking about Jesus, having conversation about this God who loves the world. This God who created each of us and all the beauty around us. This God who fought evil and emerged victorious. Pressing into your feet, rise up just enough that you can move that block out of the way and gently bring the knees into the rib cage and just bring them back and forth here a few times. And extend the legs long. Maybe windshield wiper the feet, wiggle the hips, thump the shoulders. Find Shavasana. Pray earnestly for the laborers, that God will give us the courage to go out, outside of our comfort zones, into a dark and hurting world. Inhale the perseverance to stay when things get messy. And inhale the peace of God, the healing of God filling you to overflowing and flowing out into the world around you. I invite you to stay here a little longer if you can. But if it's time to go, reconnect to your breath and gently begin to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes, rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head side to side. On that next inhale, bring arms up and overhead and stretch as long as you can. And Gently bring knees in and roll over onto your side, supporting your head with your arm. Stay here for a breath. Pressing into your hands, come up to a seated position.
Finding your sitting bones again, checking in again, maybe finding this mudra with the first, second, and third fingers connected to thumb. What has changed since you came to the mat today? What has stayed the same? Accepting the difference. On that next inhale, raise the arms up and overhead, palms together, and exhaling, bring hands to heart, bowing your head, joining me in prayer. Holy God, we are so grateful that you are always at work in our world, no matter how horrific the circumstances. Today, we rise and answer your call, willing to go, to be agents of your peace and your love. We humbly ask that you give us the fullness of your spirit, the power and the authority to defeat evil, the wisdom to know what to say and how to say it, the peace that surpasses all understanding. And we thank you for these gifts, and we thank you that through all of it you love us and you ask us to share that love with our world. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today.